All right, guys. So I've prepped this surface to 320. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a non-fibered cloth to wipe the surface and check for any residue. If you've left your project overnight, it's always good to make sure you check just to make sure there's no residue. Wipe it once, twice, three times, flip it inside out, and go back down. If this is your first time wiping it after sanding, it may require a little bit of solvent just to remove that top coat of dust and then slowly work your way down three or four towels until you reach absolutely no residue on your rag. If you leave this residue, it will result in small little micro bubbles on the surface that you may not see normally, but you will see in a bright light like this. Now that you've prepped your surface, it's time to begin applying a spar urethane. I prefer to use a full synthetic nylon brush. I feel that it's the smoothest to the touch as well as leaves the smoothest possible finish. When mixing spar or any polyurethane, it's key to remember not to introduce bubbles. You do not want to shake the can. You want to slowly stir up all the residue at the bottom so that you feel no stick while introducing as little air as possible. For the first coat, you're going to apply a nice liberal amount to the direct center of your project. I don't recommend pouring it out from the can. <laughs> Once you've applied a good amount to the center, you're going to slowly begin to work it towards the edges. Try not to take a wet brush towards the edges, as this will result in drips that you will fight the entire process. Slowly work your puddles around. Don't worry about too many brush strokes at this point. The spar urethane will self-level. The key is staying away from the edges while slowly working out the product from the center to the outside. If you notice you need a little more, repeat the process by still dabbing it into the center and working your way out. Once you feel you've covered 85 to 90% of the board, you can come back and dry the tip of your brush before attempting to fully coat the edges. You can see here I'm just working around those puddles making sure everything in the light is very very smooth. Having a good light source is always very key to see those dry spots and making sure that you don't pull the brush off while it's still dripping and leave big puddles is also key. You can see that I dabbed the tip of my brush to dry it off and now I'm slowly working that edge in order to not cause any drips. If you were to attempt to coat these edges with the full brush, you will almost guaranteed fight a drip the entire way down. Using long upwards and downwards motions on the edges will also prevent any further dripping. Here you can see I'm doing a final pull to create those singular brush strokes. You will notice as you apply to the edges you will see inconsistencies, but doing these final long pulls is key to leaving a uniformed final finish.
Here you see I've begun the same process once again, working my way from the center towards the outside while making sure not to drip my can or my brush down any edges, slowly working the product around till I feel like I have enough. So slowly, always never dragging to the edge, pulling from about one inch on one edge to one inch of the other edge of my longest pulls. Using the side of the brush is also a great technique in order to fill in much like a colored pencil or a crown. You can use the side just to rub in dry areas without causing too much urethane to build up towards an edge. Once you've checked for any dry spots in the light, you will then want to grab your non-fibered cloth or glove hand and run it underneath all the edges to ensure that there are no drip marks that will dry underneath. This process may need to be repeated two or three times as the urethane begins to settle. If any drip marks have occurred on the actual edge of the product, you can quickly come in and wipe them off. Do not use any cloth that contains fibers or they will remain stuck to the surface. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope I could help you guys a little bit and I hope that your project turns out amazing. If you have any questions, feel free, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget, like, subscribe and support and find us on Etsy, Instagram, and Facebook at Han Artiques.